welcome back to the metronome madness league everyone and we are here with game number two between the clemson incineroars and the maniacal mewtwo's game number two here in the semifinals this match could decide who's going to the championship if we see the maniacal mewtwo's come away with the win there goes a recycle from the incineroars of course that fails they're not holding any berries or anything like that and there goes a stab shadow bone that's a good start from the mewtwo's and what a huge hit Bolton takes massive damage right there oh my gosh there goes the vault switch that will not affect the golurk that was a stab move but Bolton unfortunately cannot rely on his stab moves here because it does not affect the ground type here there goes um a veil put up by the golurk actually missed what kind there but uh there we go here comes the Bolton now with the confusion. Now that I believe is not very effective, right? I'm not mistaken. Yeah, not very. Oh, it's just neutral. Look at that, but still didn't do that much damage. Uh, so here comes a die from the goal. Like interesting. It's going to avoid being hit here. So who knows what Bolton's going to have in store for it, but it will be able to do some damage. Actually, I'm thinking quite a bit of damage to that Bolton. Once it comes up, there goes the fairy wind does nothing. Would have been a good time to put some defenses up, but unfortunately it couldn't. And Bolton goes down. First Pokemon out for the Incineroars. They're going to move on to their Appleton. That's an excellent job by the Mewtwo's getting the upper hand here. We'll see if they can continue this momentum into the rest of the battle. Here we go. Golar going to go first here with a headbutt. That could make the Appleton flinch. We'll see if it, it did. It's going to flinch here, unable to attack. That gives the Mewtwo's a free move here. Excellent choice. Mewtwo's are on top of this game right here. There goes an uproar. Now it's going to be stuck in uproar for the next few turns. It's not doing a lot of damage. The Incineroars could take advantage of this, but they're going to go with a stomp. Doesn't affect Golurk. Wasted turn. We're going to see that uproar again coming from the Golurk. Appleton now in the yellow after a critical hit. Here comes the Appleton now. And it's going to go ahead with a lunge. Not sure how much damage that's going to manage to do. Almost nothing. Golurk taking that with ease. It does lose a little bit of attack there. That does not affect uproar though. As that continues to land some damage, Appleton not looking too hot out there. Uh, the no oh, a fissure. If that would have landed, if that would have landed, Golurk would have been done for, and that's what the Incineroars wanted. Unfortunately, they couldn't land that hit, and the Incineroars. Ooh, a skitter smack. That actually is that super effective. It is super effective. Appleton goes down. Is it going to be a sweep, a clean sweep for the Mewtwo's to move on into the playoffs? It might just, not the playoffs, this gives move on into the championship is what we mean to say. Let's see, you have the Clefairy, excuse me, Clefable, and Clefable uh, could last a while. We've seen it, been able to do that. Second time the Incineroars tried to use Recycle, doesn't work too well, but here comes a Darkest Lariat that will be resisted. So while the move may look cool, doesn't really do that much damage against the Clefable. And that's what the Incineroars want to see. They have to kind of get their strategy together and see if Clefable can hold out for the rest of the Mewtwo's teams. But oh my gosh, they try to use a fighting move. Aura Sphere does not go well. And now Icicle Spear is going to go ahead and hit the Clefable. They're just chipping away. You know what? That's all the Mewtwo's have to do. All they have to do is chip away at this Clefable's help. They don't have to land any massive hits or anything like that. They have three whole pokemon left on their team up against this clefable here comes clefable again gonna use a pedal dance excellent choice and finally a super effective move girler able to withstand it though it is in a danger zone but it still lives and it's going to use a roost oh my gosh what so it's going to heal itself after that super effective move and the incineroars just can't win here looks like they won't be getting past the goal there goes the pedal dance again, of course. The, oh, this time it does take it out. Golurk going down. Try to last a bit longer with the roost. Unfortunately, it didn't work out well for him. It faints anyway. And so now you have the Flapple out for the Mewtwo's. Can Clefable get past this Flapple here too? Ice type move. 
would be perfect. Might be able to one shot it. See what happens. Flapple's gonna go first. He uses Gastro Acid. That, of course, going to get rid of Clefable's ability. Still in Petal Dance. Unfortunately, that won't do that much to Flapple. Flapple uh, four times resisting it, and now the Clefable is confused. That was the downside of using that Petal Dance. He may have been able to get rid of the Golurk. Unfortunately, um, it's not very effective against this Pokemon here. There goes the Earthquake. Oh my goodness, Clefable down to 11 HP. And it's confused. If it hits itself, that's going to be it. Clefable with a chance. It uses Surf. Not the best move. Another four times resistant move here. Flapple not even bothered by the water. Now it has a chance just to drop the Clefairy with one hit. We'll see what happens. There goes the Flapple. It uses U-Turn. That might just be it. I think it is. Clefable goes down. And that is it. The Mewtwo's is going to go on to the championship. There we go. Now we'll see who they'll be fighting between the Cyndaquils and the Jazz Cats. Uh, they have their match next, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, if you want, please join the Discord. The link to that will be in the description as well. You can follow some of the teams and maybe discuss things with some of the team owners. Also, if you want to become a Patreon, feel free to do so to support the Metronome Madness League. We'd like to thank our Patreons that has been supporting us so far. And we have John Walker. Thank you so much for that. And we will see you next time.